Hey, this is just another quick uh, key shot tip. This time on uh, generating a rim light pass very quickly. Uh, similar to if anyone's used to rendering pass in ZBrush, uh, one of the outline materials. Um, you know, you could. It's the same principle, same idea. Looking for the same result. So uh, basically, all we want to do is the same sort of process as the. Um, as the AO, if you watch the AO quick tip video, and um, for this one I'm going to use the all white again. But you can use whichever lighting you're using for your scene. But um, since we're only looking for the rim light, makes sense just to use the pure white. Um, so we just need that, and then we, if we come into materials cloth and ladder down to the end, you'll see uh, velvet black. Now because this model is um, instead of I don't want to drag onto all these different parts so I'll just come up here to the scene tree and just drag it onto models and it'll drag it into everything below in the tree so you can see already we're starting to get a you know a bit of a, a rim like kind of an effect going on so right click edit material or else go to materials tab double click it one or the other now the main two things to change here you want to drop your backscatter down to zero and the edginess you can play around with this the higher you go the tighter the lighting so you can see here now we have a nice rim light it's only hitting on our edges and this will change obviously depending on the environment you have uh, you bump up your samples uh, let it settle and render screen grab or dedicated render and that's basically it that's all you need so once um, you know you can bring this in to Photoshop wherever you're composite drop it in as an ad layer and uh, um, grab that lighting information alright that's about it cheers thanks good luck